Hey, what's going on? Welcome back and Happy New Year, Hot Ones fans. This is Sean Evans and it seems like just yesterday we closed out 2021 with a bang. From Tom Holland and his wing ape meltdown on Da Bomb to Santa Gordon Ramsay and his giant sack of spicy food antidotes, we couldn't stay separated forever. We missed you way too much. I know it's a short break, but we had to be back for the new year, the new season, and of course, new sauces. So settle in, turn your phones to silent, and get ready for the season 17 Scoville Symphony. But first, a little off menu item. Dom, sauce me. Huh. Hot Ones Junior the Green. To our knowledge, the first ever hot sauce for kids is now available and getting rave reviews from all ages. With a blend of jalapenos, green apple, and banana, it's the super mild you never knew you needed in your life. Whether you're a kid or you're just someone looking for more flavor and a little less heat, Hot Ones Junior for kids or one of the new super milds. Did we invent a genre? I guess only time will tell. All right, Dom, back to the sauce and back to the lineup because we're beginning our ascent up Mount Scoville and we begin at base camp with a familiar friend, the classic. After a nice cameo from Garlic Fresno last season, the classic, the classic is back like it never left the one spot. There's something oddly comforting about the classic returning to the head of the table, the number one spot, the classic, the classic. Welcome back, old friend. All right, speaking of old friends, at the number two spot are Canadian buddies from Dawson's. Dawson's has cooked up a cedar smoked garlic hot sauce that will warm our guests through the depths of winter with a smoky, woody flavor and a hit of savory garlic. The habaneros will also heat up our guests. This is a very hot number two. If you watch the show, you've probably heard me in the past, like, this is a hot six, this is a hot three. This season, a very hot number two, so expect some fireworks in the front half. A little front half lineup psychological warfare here in the two spot. All right, at number three, another return maker, Clark and Hopkins. Clark and Hopkins dreamed up Calabria while traveling in Europe. Sweetness from tomatoes and just a dash of mushroom powder, it set the stage for Calabrian chilies to transport you straight to Italy. Mwah. Molto bene. All right, moving on to number four, and like with wine, sometimes with hot sauce, you just have to say to yourself, this label, it looks way too good not to try. Does the phoenix have very colorful tail feathers? Is it rising from the flaming ashes of its predecessor? Or does it just have some very spicy flatulence? Either way, Angry Goat keeps it just as interesting inside the bottle with a unique mix of cantaloupe and ginger. That's right, melons and hot sauce, a hot sauce trend in 2022. You heard me call it right here. All right, to the halfway mark already, and just like in the leadoff spot, we have another sauce reclaiming its rightful place in the lineup. Say hello once again to Los Calientes Rojo. A bit of smoke, a bit of sweet apricot, a touch of earthy cumin, and just the right amount of habanero to set the stage for back half destruction. And speaking of the back half, take a look at the number six sauce, Queen Majesty. If you've been watching us since the, the day one, the Blair's Mega Death Sauce with Liquid Rage, the Hot Ones mixtape era, then you know that I love Queen Majesty sauces. The Scotch Bonnet and Ginger, I'm on record saying it's my favorite hot sauce of all time. And this sauce right here, the Cocoa Ghost, an example of what I love about Queen Majesty. Cocoa powder and ghost peppers mingle in menacing matrimony and a gingery warmth gives way to a legit kick that's sure to leave some flared nostrils in its wake at the number six spot. Long live the queen. All right, moving on to number seven, and we have a newcomer to the table. 13 Angry Scorpions Jekyll and Hyde straight out of Australia is bringing scorching hot barbecue vibes with its own blend of brown sugar and intense scorpion peppers. This is also the part of the show where well-mannered, very experienced, highly media-trained celebrities turn into raving lunatics. So the Jekyll and Hyde thing just seemed too fitting to pass up here in the seventh spot. All right. On number eight, I know that there are some of you who probably just opened the video, check to see is the bomb still in the eighth spot? New year, new tears, same to bomb at number eight. As Salma Hayek would say, there's just pain, no pleasure, like a bad lover. It's been described as poison. I've said that I do not condone it. I do not endorse it. I do not recommend it, but it's here. 
the bomb holds its place in the eighth spot if you haven't yet watched editor collins compilation of the best bomb reactions of 2021 i highly recommend checking it out as a little pregame for season 17. and then moving on to number nine it is pucker butt pepper company's extra mean green and you know what that means that means back to back smoking ed curry concoctions to close out the lineup Usually you don't expect Verde sauces to be Scoville chart toppers, but leave it to our favorite mad scientist chili farmer to flip the script. You're talking about a blend of Apollo and Pepper X peppers here in the nine spot. And speaking of Apollo, it's the gold label, the last dab Apollo riding again to close things out at number 10. And then there was one, the gold bottle, the giant slayer, the king of KOs. You don't have to if you don't want to, but most people do anyways. And there you have it, it's the season 17 Hot Ones Hot Sauce lineup, Ain't She a Butte. As you know, if you've been around the block a couple times, when the hot sauce reveal comes, that means the season premiere is just around the corner and Hot Ones returns with our new cast of characters on January 20th. That's right, January 20th, Hot Ones rides again for season 17. Thank you so much for sticking around with us now for seven years. 17 seasons, hundreds of episodes, as long as you care, I am gonna sit here and eat the hottest scorching hot chicken wings in the history of the earth. That is my pledge to you. Thank you so much, hot fan, hot, hot, hot. I almost, I almost, I almost just straight took. We'll see you again, January 20th. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah.